Welcome to our introduction of developmental psychology for the 2024-25 AP Psychology course. The American Psychological Association has updated its standards, and now the AP Psychology course and exam description aligns with these new guidelines. In this video, we'll dive into Unit 3, Development and Learning, focusing on Topic 3.1, themes and methods in developmental psychology. We will cover foundational knowledge that is essential for understanding how individuals grow and change throughout their lives. Get ready to explore key themes, such as the nature versus nurture debate and methods like cross-sectional and longitudinal research. This video sets the stage for a comprehensive understanding of developmental psychology. So let's dive in. In this unit, we will delve into how individuals change and grow throughout their lives. We'll explore the intricate balance between stability and change and engage in the age-old nature versus nurture debate. How do genetic and environmental factors shape who we are? What traits remain constant and which evolve over time? We'll examine how development progresses through continuous, gradual changes, as well as in distinct, discontinuous stages. Understanding these dynamics is crucial for grasping the complexities of human development. This foundational knowledge will prepare us for deeper insights into how we, as humans, progress and adapt at various stages of our lifespan. In this video, we'll cover essential knowledge and objectives in developmental psychology. Our focus areas will include understanding enduring themes that inform the field, exploring the chronological and thematic issues that shape human development, and examining key research methods. Specifically, we'll define crucial terms such as developmental psychology, stability and change, nature versus nurture, continuous and discontinuous stages of development, cross-sectional research, and longitudinal research. This foundational insight will set the stage for deeper exploration into how individuals grow and evolve across their lifespan. Welcome to our exploration of developmental psychology. This field of study is dedicated to understanding the changes human beings undergo throughout their lives. From infancy to old age, developmental psychology examines the biological, psychological, and social aspects of growth and transformation. By studying these changes, we gain insight into the various stages of human growth and the factors that influence our development. Developmental psychology is crucial because it helps us comprehend how we evolve mentally and emotionally, which can inform practices in education, healthcare, and beyond. Through understanding these patterns, we are better equipped to support individuals at every stage of their life journey. Stay with us as we delve deeper into this fascinating field, unraveling the complexities of human development. Stability and change are fundamental concepts in developmental psychology. Stability refers to aspects of ourselves that remain consistent throughout life, like certain personality traits. On the other hand, change denotes those characteristics that evolve over time, such as cognitive abilities. Understanding how stability and change interact allows us to better grasp human development. For instance, while some traits like temperament might stay stable, our abilities to solve problems can significantly develop and change as we grow older. This balance between stability and change is essential for comprehending the complex process of human growth and development throughout different life stages. The nature versus nurture debate is a central question in developmental psychology. Nature encompasses the genetic and biological factors that shape us, whereas nurture refers to the environmental influences and experiences that contribute to our development. Understanding the interplay of these factors is crucial as they both play significant roles in shaping our personalities, behaviors, and abilities over a lifetime. For example, while our genetic makeup might give us certain predispositions, our upbringing and experiences can profoundly influence our traits and skills. This debate helps us recognize that human development is a dynamic and complex process, influenced by an intricate balance of inherited and external elements. Development can be understood through two distinct lenses, continuous and discontinuous stages. Continuous development is all about gradual changes over time. Think of language acquisition, which unfolds progressively as we age. On the other hand, discontinuous development refers to distinct, separate stages. For example, cognitive abilities can develop in leaps and bounds, 
with noticeable shifts in behavior or thinking at certain ages. Both perspectives offer valuable insights into human growth, which is why they are essential concepts in developmental psychology. By exploring both continuous and discontinuous stages, we gain a comprehensive understanding of how growth and development manifest throughout our lives. Cross-sectional research is a method used to study different groups of people at a single point in time. This approach helps us compare various age groups to identify differences and similarities among them. One of the key advantages is the efficiency in gathering data quickly, providing a snapshot of how different age cohorts might vary. However, it does have its limitations, such as not allowing researchers to track individual changes over time, which can be crucial for understanding developmental progressions. By focusing on a broad spectrum of ages simultaneously, cross-sectional research can yield valuable insights, but it's important to use it alongside other methods like longitudinal studies for a comprehensive understanding of developmental changes. Longitudinal research is a powerful method used to study how individuals change over an extended period. Unlike cross-sectional research that compares different age groups at one single point in time, longitudinal research focuses on observing the same group of people over many years. This meticulous approach allows researchers to detect patterns and shifts in behavior, cognitive abilities, and other traits that may not be immediately apparent in other study methods. Despite its invaluable insights, longitudinal research comes with its own set of challenges. It is often time-consuming and expensive, requiring extensive commitment and resources. However, the rich data it provides is crucial for understanding lifespan development, making these long-term studies beneficial for psychologists aiming to comprehend the complexities of human growth and change over time. By following the same participants throughout their lives, this type of research helps to illuminate the continuous and transformative nature of human development, providing a nuanced perspective on stability and change. In summary, we've delved into the key themes and methods in developmental psychology for AP Psychology Unit 3. We explored the nature versus nurture debate, discussing the impact of genetics and environment on human growth. We examined stability and change, identifying traits that remain consistent and those that evolve over time. We also looked into continuous and discontinuous stages of development and how both types shape individual progress. Finally, we covered research methods like cross-sectional and longitudinal studies, highlighting their roles in understanding behavior and mental processes. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth AP Psychology content. Your engagement helps us bring you more valuable educational resources. Thanks for watching.